And the medical community experiencing so many unknowns when it comes to COVID-19. Tonight, we hear from two specialists who say that the prescription for success in fighting this virus may start with perfecting treatments before moving on to a vaccine. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya brings us a story that's all new tonight at 530. There's a lot of questions and not many answers. It's the biggest we've ever seen, at least in my career, to have this degree of unknown. It's a little scary, uh, to be completely honest, and but at the same time, it's very humbling. The coronavirus isn't like the flu or the common cold, where doctors know pretty much exactly what to do. Unlike anything we've ever seen before. And regarding the treatment, there really is no magic bullet yet. So how do you treat a virus when there's no known treatments? It's a lot of reading and a lot of discussions. We are relying on our colleagues uh, downstate, across the pond and west coast to get an idea of what they're seeing, what they're treating, and then doing our best based upon that. It's not trial and error. Doctors don't try anything that would be harmful to their patients. It's uh, trial and Let's see what happens. If when something new comes up and works, we try it, we evaluate it, and we try it. The benefit has to outweigh the risk. There may not be a one-size-fits-all solution for patients. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up doing all sorts of combinations trying to get patients to be better. We need the vaccine, but I think before that, if we can get one or more treatments that work. Finding a treatment or several treatments could be the faster way to fighting the pandemic and getting back to normal. I really believe that a treatment is going to be more likely than a vaccine. HIV is an example of this. There is no vaccine for the virus, but there is treatment. So if you contract HIV, you can survive. If you can reduce the severity, make it shorter, get people out of the hospital faster, then you change the dynamics. I think opening up and going back to normal becomes more realistic because then even if you do fall sick, there are things that we can do. Both doctors say time will tell, but they believe we will be dealing with the coronavirus for at least another year or two. In Buffalo, Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.